Hello friends, this is Dr. Jovin Jacob William from Grace Homeopathy Clinic. I am a homeopathic consultant with over 10 years of clinical practice and experience. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Here I would like to share not only mine, uh, but the collective experiences of various doctors to the organization that I am a part of. Uh, it's called SHF Handymanian Homeo Forum. The purpose of making this video is to make the general public aware of uh, how homeopathy views health and disease, how as to what actually causes ill health, how homeopathy cures and general misconceptions and myths related to homeopathy. So let me just start off by asking you a very simple question. What according to you is health? Is it just uh, freedom from disease? Is it uh, just normal values in your blood reports? Is it the fact that you can run 10 kilometers without tiring? Or you can do your household shows with ease? Uh, it could be all of it. It could be all of it. But uh, health is much more than that. Let me explain. All life on earth, from the moment it began, till date has evolved and it continues to evolve. It does so for survival by adapting to various situations. Here adaptation is the key word. As humans, we adapt every day to various situations of life. And is the key to our survival on all fronts, that is domestic, professional, financial, religious, social, etc. The ability to adapt to various situations and moving forward in life is health. Uh, let me give you a very relatable example. For uh, There's a death in the family. Uh, even society gives you a certain amount of days, like 13 days to grieve the loss of your near one. But after that, you're supposed to move on. Not that f uh, forget about the person, but life goes on and you move ahead. You don't get stuck up, stuck there. Life doesn't stop there. This is healthy. But even after years of uh, the incident, uh, you refuse to leave the grief and sadness behind. You refuse to move on. You get stuck there. Your life gets stuck there. Now this is not healthy. This is uh, where diseases begin. Or in fact, this is the disease itself. Events like this happen in our life very commonly. Some may be as devastating as a death in the family. Or some may be as trivial as a, a, a snide comment or a, a hurting comment. But to react to it, to feel angry, to feel sad, to grieve, uh, to feel joyous on uh, happy situations. These are all natural the, the reactions. But to get stuck up at that point and not be able to move forward, that is not healthy. That is disease. This is how most diseases begin, in fact. Let me know in the comments below uh, how many of you agree to this view. Uh, or you have experienced this that you have not been well or the beginning of the disease can be traced to a particularly stressful life incident I'm not talking about uh, my joints have not been well since chikungunya or uh, I have not slept well since I had dengue no think about genuinely you know emotionally financially domestic or professionally stressful situations incidences in your life after which you think uh, well, my health issue started after that. Just think about it. Have you wondered why a normally functioning thyroid or pancreas one day just decides today seems to be a very good day to function less than normal. Let's give this man some diabetes or hypothyroidism. Have you wondered why only a select few people are vulnerable to the TB bacteria and get tuberculosis while all of us are breathing it in in thousands with our every breath. I'll elaborate on this part in my further videos. 
but this is how as homeopaths we uh, understand health and disease homeopathy tries to establish a balance in your adaptation and once that is taken care of our body created by the almighty in his own image is perfectly capable of healing itself it just needs a push in the right direction and that's what homeopathy does tell me what 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 do you think is a better line of treatment you know uh, bringing the thyroid back to normal to function correctly and produce the right amount of hormones naturally or just taking chemical analogs of the uh, hormone that the thyroid is supposed to produce for your entire lifetime while the thyroid functions keep deteriorating i think the first option sounds appealing and that's what homeopathy does for you uh, it brings your body or rather it brings you back to its normal state in a balance and the thyroid takes care of itself now coming to the myths and misconceptions number 1 homeopathy is slow absolutely not true in acute situations like uh, gall stones or uh, 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 kidney stones uh, the pains are really severe these are managed so beautifully by homeopathy and it acts as fast as fast uh, if not faster than uh, allopathic tablets and injections oh, number 2 homeopathy is just for allergies and hair fall not just for allergies and hair fall sorry the scope and range of homeopathy is far wider than just allergies and hair fall it can cure anything from allergy to asthma anxieties to depression kidney stomach liver pancreas thyroid any organ any disease homeopathy has a cure for it even grave uh, life threatening diseases like cancer paralysis progressive autoimmune disorders are cured beautifully and tackled beautifully with homeopathy lots of diet restrictions in homeopathy number 3 this is a general misconceptions not at all feel free to eat what you want but uh, whatever restrictions apply uh, to a particular disease that you may be suffering from like uh, salt restricted diet for uh, hypertensives and sugar free diet for diabetics those have to be followed but naturally uh, myth number 4 homeopathic medicines contain steroids no it doesn't it is a whole load of nothing more to say about it you can self medicate number 5 you may it helps in uh, some trivial problems like minor cough and cold but to get genuinely good results in chronic and even most acute conditions it is best to consult a homeopathic physician and tra- take proper treatment for it so to conclude my video i want to say is all i want to say is homeopathy is the medicine for now and for the future era because this is the time this is the era of uh, lifestyle disorders which is mostly induced by the tremendous amount of stress of every individual is going through there are different lifestyles different individuals different adaptations and accordingly homeopathy has different line of treatment for di- these different individuals this is homeopathy completely natural safe gentle fast and customized for each patient So thank you this is me Dr Jovin Jacob William from Grace Homeopathy Clinic uh, please stay tuned for my for the videos mm, like comment share subscribe see you